What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to another episode of the F1 My Team series. If you are new around here, this is the second season and we are going to be racing in Australia. But before we do, we're going to make some upgrades to see what we can do to the car. Obviously we've got some R&D points. I don't think we've got two, yes, we've got about 5 million in the budget as of the moment. So I don't think we're going to be upgrading any suites as of now. And like the facilities, I don't think that would be kind of wise to do so. But in all in fairness, as you can see, we do have one that was a little bit cheaper so it was okay to spend. But it's always not wise to spend most of your budget. Going into the round in Australia then, I felt really, really confident. And I feel like it's a circuit that I can actually perform at. With the car the way it is and what kind of tracks it actually does suit, I felt like this one would be the one to kind of go. I felt like we did well last season with the car that we had. Obviously, we, uh, we gained some points more than anything we had a decent battle with Fernando Alonso if anyone remembers if you haven't watched any of the previous season I have got a playlist on my channel and you can view every single one that you could possibly imagine that I've recorded so far within this series so obviously now we are on the third round of season two and we're going to get things underway in practice and see where we are at the car I've new, done a new setup also and it's definitely made the difference, that is for sure. As we look fast, we look kind of sharp. I feel like every kind of corner we're taking, we're looking really, really good. Obviously, we will see at the leaderboard and see where we're at. But I don't think practice is the best guideline sometimes. I feel like you can do really bad, really good in practice, sorry. And then feel like you can do bad in qualifying. But we look forward to every session and feel like we can develop the car as much as possible. We've got some really hard circuits coming up after this. We've got Baku. We've got Miami. Uh, we have... What else? We've, we've got quite a few. We've got Imola. Imola's a decent track. So that is a good thing to look forward to in terms of the tracks that we are good at. But there are going to be some tracks that I feel very, very weak at. A decent practice session. That put us in P6. We didn't really go mad. We didn't use any soft tyre time either. But that was a decent session. Ocon not having the best. He finishes 19th in practice compared to my 6th. As we get things going in the qualifying then, as we start the first lap, as we go on, actually, well, we've done the first lap. We did a decent time, but our second lap was a big improvement as you can see we finished second on that first lap obviously we've got much more time to go yet lap two in the qualifying then as Yuki Zenoda's just in front of us hoping we can get past him without him avoiding uh, uh, any kind of collision that is to be said as you can see a red delta but we're really really tight on what the time that we've actually got at the moment as you can see it's pretty marginal as it going through that corner we've got some a lot of times so we could have been slow through that previous sector on that first lap as there's about 400 per second as of the moment purple sector one then as we are on lap two Verstappen could be overtaken as we do a better sector compared to everyone else I'm not too sure who else is in front of me hopefully they don't hold me up either 300 per second as of the moment we look a little bit slow on the straight as of the moment for whatever reason obviously it's one of those where it is, it, our straight speed is good but I feel like it can lack at times a decent sector two only a green sector so Verstappen was quicker in this in the second sector as we only are about 200 per second as of the moment as we go into the final few corners late onto the brakes as we try and get a decent exit and we do gain amount of time also 300 of a second it's gone up to near 400 so we will go really fast through that corner no braking applied whatsoever just hard on the accelerator as we complete the final corner 400 a second as of the moment we will get DRS to take us over the checkered line half a second as of the moment it keeps going up and up will the leaderboard go up yes it will pole position as of the moment a 118.772 decent lap here in Melbourne and that does put us on pole position for the first time this season and Lewis Hamilton will be second and Fernando Alonso in third. Esteban Ocon qualifying 15th. Not too bad, but could be better, that is for sure. And we look forward to the big race here in Melbourne. Well, once upon a time, this used to be the season opener before it fell victim to a pandemic reshuffling. But now Albert Park is back at the heart of the F1 calendar. So welcome to Sunkissed Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 14 corners and 3.28 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles per hour. But as proximity of the barriers make accidents inevitable, and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Cook lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Verstappen, Russell, Leclerc, Norris, Perez, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Bottas, Albon, Ocon, Sargent, Sonoda, Drogovic, Magnus. 
Anderson, Sato, Joe, and Nick DeVries. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Here we are then, the sun is shining, we're on pole position as we wait for these five lights to go out and they do go out and it's lights out and away we go then as Lewis Hamilton is behind us, Fernando Alonso in third, tussle between fourth and fifth with Russell and Sainz completing, competing Sorry, as we go through the first corner then holding our own, top five stands as myself, Hamilton in second, George Russell in third, Fernando Alonso in fourth with Carlos Sainz slotting into fifth as we have Lewis Hamilton right on our rear trying to see if he can make any overtake in these early stages of this Grand Prix, really good start off the line and we managed to get ahead of the pack not colliding with anyone and not having any people that will slow us down either and it seems to be that we have got the better of a lot of drivers on this track as we complete this first lap then Hamilton just behind us still he's competing a lot but we've got Russell that's already a second gap the top five is a 1.7 second gap as Lewis Hamilton looks to take a first look at us and see if he can take the overtake Breezy's pass on the straight as we try and use a little bit of ERS as we go to the right hand side can we take an overtake on the inside line as we try but we have to back out of that one as it was really Really tight and George Russell has crept upon us as well. 200 per second as the moment is here behind us with Lewis Hamilton about 200 per second in front as we look to try and see if we can make an overtake on this particular part of the track. Yes we do, we're through on Lewis up into first once again as we look to complete the first lap in first we hope anyway as George Russell closes in on his teammate and we are built to will with Lewis Hamilton going through these final few corners. We have maintained the space as we go through and we are in P1 then as we go over the chequered line hitting the first lap of 20 going on to lap 2 making sure the car is all good and making sure where our teammate is also I think he makes a decent start we wait to see he's on fresh medium so he's actually starting a medium contact so he's kept his place 15 so we're hoping for a better performance from Esteban Ocon fastest lap one as we complete that one and we go on to lap two of 20 and you can see a purple sector one a green sector two then as Lewis Hamilton is still behind us George Russell in third with Fernando Alonso in fourth and a new opponent in fifth of the world champion being Max Verstappen not the best of seasons for him for the Dutchman so far as he looks to try and make an improvement on his performances as we still have Lewis Hamilton right behind us he's going to be impressed now because he's going to be the one that's going to get DRS on the chequered line as the DRS is enabled fastest lap goes to Lewis Hamilton he pips me at the post for that one as DRS is enabled and Lewis Hamilton is going to try and take the most of this and see if he can kind of overtake me on this part where we will get DRS go on the left hand side he's going to have the inside line if he is going to overtake but we close the gap Lewis Hamilton and George Russell battling through that corner and Russell gets the better of his teammate Lewis Hamilton George Russell up into second then as Hamilton drops to third. Big contrast between the two Mercedes teammates as they battle on as George Russell now tries to see if he can take an overtake on this DRS straight. He's got a plenty of track in front of him. He's definitely going to do it as we go late onto the brakes as we've got the inside line going through this corner and we are through on George Russell but we're wheel to wheel as we speak trying to see if we can make any move that will give us some sort of advantage past George and through in this lap as you can see. Lap 3 of 20 and there's been a lot a lot of passes. A decent bit of battling between the top drivers as we complete the first few laps were on lap 4 out of 20 as you can see we've made a little bit of a gap between George Russell Lewis Hamilton about 700 per second at the moment he still maintains the fastest lap and he still looks quick Matt Fernando Alonso still in fourth Max Verstappen still in fifth only 1.2 second gap between the top five as it's all to play for in Melbourne as George Russell makes another look he's got the inside line as we do the switch back back onto the inside line ourselves we didn't expect that that's for sure as we go past on George then as Lewis Hamilton is just behind us and that is a really really good overtake and a vital one at that also as we complete lap 4 of 20 going on to lap 5 as we go wide onto that corner losing a little bit of time out on the exit George Russell is going to make up the time that is for sure he's going to get DRS also can George take a look at me on this particular corner who knows as he does go on the rear view mirror he is right there he's going to have the outside line going through this corner as we hold tight to the inside trying to see if we can make anything count and we do we're still behind we're still in front of George Russell sorry as Lewis Hamilton is still behind and a gap between them Fernando Alonso is taking a look at Lewis Hamilton as he tries to slide himself into third he doesn't momentarily because Fernando Alonso is now in third, I'm in second George Russell in second, he's just going first to second to third, it actually maintains as myself in first, George Russell in second but a new runner in Fernando Alonso, he's up to third then as Hamilton slots into fourth not the best few laps for Lewis as he actually maintains a decent bit of speed but not the best, that is to be said as George Russell takes another look, Fernando Alonso is on the outside, George Russell on the inside nearly three abreast going through that particular corner 
corner. Decent exit on the outside as we still will to will going through this final set of corners. We take a wide exit as we go as we still got George Russell right there making sure there's no collision being made and no hampering to this Grand Prix then as we complete lap 5 of 20 going on to lap 6. Brilliant battle so far as Fernando Alonso is in 3rd then. Lewis Hamilton still maintains in 4th with still the same 1.2 second gap between ourselves and the top 5 as we go through this part of the track. We're going to have DRS for George Russell. George is definitely going to take another look and see if he can make any sort of overtake whatsoever. As we go late onto the brakes on the outside line, he switches to the left so it kind of works for myself doing the switch back to the inside and holds that place as we go through this corner then and George is right on me. We get a decent exit but we do go over the canvas so there is going to be some time lost. If he can maintain the speed going through this part of the straight he might be able to outbreak me as he does take the outside line, the inside line sorry, as he does actually have to maintain his pace but it's a decent pace being maintained. The tyres are going down quite quickly. Only six laps being completed but due to the high temperatures in Melbourne it takes effect as George Russell looks to go and take a look down and he does. He is through, he's into P1. I have to slot in between myself and George as we try and take a look on the inside not to be though as George makes up even more time from my mistake. Lewis Hamilton but puts himself back into third with Fernando Alonso in fourth. Verstappen in fifth only half a second splits the top five as of the moment as we can see ourselves in second at the moment with George Russell making a decent gap on myself trying to maintain a decent bit of speed so we can get DRS on that particular straight. Whether that will happen who knows as we go late into the breaks on the final corner as we try and give it our rule. We're a little bit wider than I really wanted to to be able to try and not get the best exit that we had there but it is what it is and we're still 900 percent seconds we will get DRS whether we can maintain a bit of speed through the straight and through the other part where we get DRS who knows as George Russell is still in front as we come to the end of lap 7 lap 8 of 20 then and we're nearly going to be aiming for the pits as George Russell is just in front of us we've got a decent exit out of that part we're going to get DRS also can we make a move on George if we are going to go on the inside line as we maintain a decent bit of speed going through the straight late onto the brakes the latest we possibly could as we do go wide George gets a switch back he goes onto the inside so kind of putting me onto the left and we just literally marginally make that space happen we are into p1 we go wide on that bit we lose some time we're on the grass the car was bumping absolutely everywhere as george makes up the time on that mistake that is for sure george russell 200 a second he's in second at the moment with lewis hamilton in third fernando alonso in fourth and max verstappen in fifth but george russell might put himself into first and lewis might put him himself into second as they both creep up on me they've both got drs can they both make a move george has whether his teammate lewis can that is another thing he does stay behind me we get a decent exit through that part of the track and we are now going to get DRS on George Russell can we make a move going on these final few corners he is a bit far in front and Lewis Hamilton now takes a look we're going to have to try and see if we can at least stay into second yes we do so George Russell is making his time up and Lewis Hamilton is now battling for the place of second as we get near to the end of lap 8 of 20 we're near going on to lap 9 this is going to be really interesting to see what plans out the grip is definitely going to be lost especially said by the engineer as we get the DRS on George Russell can we make a move on this particular straight if not get some momentum through the other we still are behind him we're going to get some decent bit of pace through this particular part of the track we have got DRS lap 9 of 20 try and see if we can make a move whether that's going to be the case he goes to the left I'm on the right hand side he's momentarily in front wheel to wheel we need now edge in front we are in P1 George Russell slots himself into second Lewis Hamilton in third and Fernando Alonso in fourth with Max Verstappen in fifth then we're coming to the end of this kind of pit window we're going to be well we're going on to the pit window more than anything so we're coming to the start George Russell is right on me the tyres are degrading really really quickly Lewis Hamilton's on the right George Russell's on the left we nearly get a double overtake there Lewis has to hamper on the brakes as he sees his teammate right in front of him no collisions being made by the two George Russell once again goes back into third this Grand Prix absolutely crazy how it's gone from back and forth Lewis is now taking a look on the inside line but he's after going to gonna have to hold his position as he's still in third we got a decent exit out of that part and we still stick with George Russell George Russell not making any sort of time up on this particular part of the track as we complete this lap then going on to the final corner we are going to pit though as but well we were supposed to pit and we're not because in, in all fairness I still want to stick with George Russell I felt like if we pit then it was the case of losing amount of time to George Russell so we're going to pit next lap as we make a move then we still compete on the softer tyre even though it's degrading we still compete and Charles Leclerc you can see is in fourth 
Sergio Perez in fifth. So Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen must have pitted for them two to come up the grid. As you see, we're near to the end of lap 10 of 20 then. And we are going into the pitch. George Russell is even being overtaken by Fernando Alonso. And we have made up a decent gap. And that has definitely helped us out staying up that extra lap. I feel like it would have been really tight me coming up the pits or kind of going round and see if we would match their time because they wouldn't have pitted just yet. Pit limiter on and through the pits we go then as we are going to go onto the medium tyre in Australia and this is something that we're going to have to try and bed in there that is for sure and try and get them up to temperature. Optimal pit stop as we try and get the fastest possible 2.2 second gap then and we are away then and as you can see we're going to slot into P6 yes Max Verstappen is just behind us Carlos Sainz is there also and we are slotting ourselves into P6 we do go wide on that bit momentarily Max Verstappen has had an amazing pit stop if this stands out the way it does he could actually be in second and he could be the one that we need to actually worry about as Max Verstappen tries to make a move on the inside not to be so successful though as you can see and through we go and we're trying to warm this tyre up as much as possible to be able to kind of have it to be competitive obviously George Russell would have pitted a lap later than us which is handy because he's going to have to warm up his tyre but we're going to have to worry about Max Verstappen let alone everyone else as Carlos Sainz is right behind us also Max Verstappen has overtaken me and he has gone right off he looks to be really really fast as it stands, lap 11 of 20 then, we're currently in P7, Max Verstappen in P6, obviously there's going to be others that are going to be pitting, Carlos Sainz now taking a look as we raise our hand as there's a slight collision for whatever reason, Fernand, um, sorry Fernando, Carlos Sainz has gone to the right hand side of me and has kind of budged my wheel, very unprovoked, that is for sure, as we complete lap 11 of 20, there's going to be others that are pitting also, who they are, I'm not too sure as we make up some spaces here we go, then we're going to get DRS or Max Verstappen also, we could even make up another space Space. Max Verstappen is currently in second as my teammate currently is in P1. Obviously that's not going to stand for much longer because he does need to pit. But as if, if from then he will go to pit, we will actually then be in P2 as we stand behind Max Verstappen as we go late onto the brakes. Pushing him to the left hand side, we don't mind a bit of dirty racing when it comes to Max Verstappen. Previously in Bahrain, he completely wiped me out so we're definitely going to give it some back. And we are into P2 currently and once Ocon pits we will eat into P1 and that will be what we want. That is for sure and as you can see Ocon's pitted and the time keeps on going Carlos Sainz into P2 Max Verstappen in P3 Fernando Alonso in P4 with George Russell in fifth the time has been made up massively and we have definitely made a gap as soon as we got into that position where we overtook Max Verstappen there was no looking back and we was definitely on the charge that is for sure we look really really comfortable in this Grand Prix and we're looking to set a faster snap on the medium tyre and maybe just maybe we can take it all home as we go into the final few corners then we're looking really sharp two second gap between ourselves and Carlos Sainz 2.4 from Max Verstappen a lot of gap there is for sure and this is going to be decent and see what kind of lap we do get we've got a purple sector one a green sector two what will we now have as we look to go over the checkered line to complete lap 14 of 20 going on to lap 15 have we've got another fastest lap yes we have 121.1 one two nine sorry really really fast lap on the medium set of tire and we're definitely going to make the uh, charge on that is for sure as we push on in this grand prix the laps keep falling down that's 16 of 20 even more time has been made up as you can see we are definitely on the charge and there is no stopping us now felipe drogovic is out the session a first dnf in this grand prix as the uh, smoke just kind of bellows out of the hash machine a big mechanical failure unfortunately for them that is the end of of his race and their race that is for sure coming to the end of lap 16 or 20 then going on to lap 17 the gap has been made even further no fastest lap I don't think as we have got two red sectors don't think we're going to make any sort of improvement on this final straight as we do complete lap 16 or 20 going on to lap 17 and it looks to be if we stays this way we could be crowned champion in Australia that will be a sight that is for sure as we go on to lap 19 or 20 then there is so much of a gap behind us we're going on to the final lap and surely this is ours for the taking. I really hope it is in all honesty because we deserve it. There's something special about this circuit when you're being at the front. And I knew the car would suit it. I knew the car would be able to kind of perform. The qualifying sessions were really good. The practice sessions were fairly good. It all come together in this Grand Prix and that's what mattered the most. A really, really good performance overall as it's still three seconds as it currently stands. Looks to be the top five of myself, Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen in third, George Russell in fourth and Fernando Alonso coming up to P5. Really, really good Grand Prix, a lot of battles. Lewis Hamilton not really doing the best as he loses out of the top five position at the moment. 
and it seems to be that we've really got the better of our opponents and kind of conquered this track more than anything. Who's to say if this will continue in the next round? I, d I don't know. It it's one of those. It might, it might not. It's, it's really hard to tell. But we are going to relish the moment, that what it is as the moment, and we're definitely going to enjoy it, that is for sure. As we go on to the final bits where we will get DR... Well, they will get DRS. Not, not on us at all, because it's still 2.4 seconds. We've kind of let ourselves let our foot off the gas more than anything. But we don't really need to push now. We've definitely got the victory. As long as the car went to uh, blow in a, into a smoke or I would crash, then uh, I th we're absolutely fine. As we complete the final bend of this Grand Prix and we are going to be champion in Australia as we weave in and out and we celebrate. And that was a brilliant result. We definitely did it. And that was a brilliant, brilliant race in Australia. The c complete and utter dominant performance more than anything we ruled that race we knew we were the quickest for whatever reason Carlos Sainz is driver of the day I don't understand that because we absolutely romped this race brilliant kind of laps overall we were so consistent and we now can celebrate with the team and we can get the trophy that we deserve the second win for JD Cook 5 Motorsport really important to get another win for the team and this is the first this season as we look to push on for our championship charge and you just never ever Ever know a lot of races left don't get me wrong a lot to happen but who knows we just might be within a shout of it this season if we can stay with the big boys as we go up to the podium then and we do look to kind of collect our trophy and celebrate with the fans the engineer there also as he's going to be uh, getting an accolade also so it's Max Verstappen as you can see in third and Carlos Sainz in seconds as we shake hands and we have got the trophy in our hands a lovely trophy that is and we wait to spray the champagne and celebrate in style it's definitely deserved that is for sure as we ruled that from start to finish as we spray the champagne in Australia we celebrate with our other rival drivers and that will be one that we can enjoy and cherish that is for sure as we push on further in the championship looking at the standings then as you can see overall in the race Esteban Ocon really didn't do the best p16 from a p15 start not the best looking at the standings we are joint top with Carlos Sainz I wouldn't be uh, thinking I'd be saying that but yeah we are joint top and we are third in the constructors championship so a big jump up being made and a big improvement that is for sure as we look to push on in this championship championship and as a team so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers